Hey YouTube, Nasanon here again. I'm just going to share with you some um, little tips and tricks and also some uh, apps for photo viewing and photo manipulation as well as some uh, music apps. Um, and then after this I'm going to do another post on games. Um, if you guys don't know about the Amazon App Store, it's great. They have a promotion right now where you get every day they're introducing a paid app for free that you can get. I got Angry Birds Rio for free on there and I got um, a couple like Weatherbug Elite on there for free, so that's neat. Um, Market Enabler is a great app. Um, it's what it basically allows you to do is emulate any market uh, from any different um, country and service provider. So here's US T Mobile, US Verizon. So say I want to uh, pretend I'm a Verizon user and I want to go in the Verizon market, I just hit fake this provider and I've been granted super user permission, done and all set. Now if I go to the market, it'll be a Verizon market. Um, moving right along, I'm going to get to the music apps. Uh, DJ Studio Demo is really cool. Basically allows you to have uh, beat matching and, uh, and all that good stuff in a simple, easy to use application. Um, let's see here. So you can just touch the record and re uh, rewind or fast forward. You get the idea. So um, then we got uh, my piano, which is cool with multi-touch. It allows you to do chords, basic chords. Okay. Um, drum machine, uh, Cadeli drum machine, I find is pretty neat. You can uh, live edit beats. Right? Um, plasma sounds like a theremin, allows you to do multi touch as well. For image uh, image apps, uh, the gallery, the best gallery by far is this gallery Quick Pick. It um, allows you to choose what folders and uh, what sources you want to show up in your gallery. What I find with the standard Android gallery is that it takes everything and dumps it in there. So I got a bunch of crap in there on the regular gallery, like random covers of ebooks and things that I'm not really interested in having in my gallery. Quick Pick allows me to customize what ends up in there. Pair that with Picasa Downloader, and I can download right here. Um, I can download my Picasa albums to the SD card, and then show up in Quick Pick. Um, FX Camera and Retro Camera are really neat camera apps. Uh, they're the best ones I've found so far. They do your typical, um, you know, easy, quick, stylized uh, image uh, effects with the built-in camera. I'm not going to demo them right now because I don't have time, but. Um, Let's quick, uh, keep moving along. Uh, oh, by the way, Photoshop Express is really good if you use their online uh, photo service, um, which is free and they let you host tons of images. You can edit images directly on your tablet with that. In the background, you'll notice I have pictures sliding across. Um, that's called uh, floating image and it's a live wallpaper. You can select f uh, it to stream from Picasa, from your uh, folder on your SD card and it's really neat. It has like all kinds of images just floating around in the background and if you had a blank um, page or a blank uh, I don't know, uh, dashboard or whatever it would just be like your gallery floating by like a constant slideshow. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to what's draining my battery the most and to do that I've been using this app Juice Plotter. Um, with everything running right now, the Wi-Fi, the um, the live wallpaper and a bunch of apps in the background, I'm at maximum battery usage. But this shows you battery usage over time, which is really nifty. Then there's Juice Defender, which they also make. 
and if you want to say you're going to be on a long trip and you want to make sure your battery isn't drained at all you can customize and use their default um, settings to make sure that your battery isn't being drained by a ton of stuff um, another really useful app is uh, advanced task killer this allows you to kill any tasks that are running like say if one hangs up or you're running a ton of them and you just want to quit it and you can't find a way to quit it within the app um, really good for the multitasking and you can uncheck any of the stuff you don't want to quit so button savior lookout um, stuff like that lookout is um, definitely crucial to have um, in this day and age um, it, uh, it protects you from viruses among other things um, it's a virus scanner and uh, it scans every app you download and every program you download or basically everything that goes on and um, allows you allows backups and all that titanium backup is also really important uh, if you're constantly switching between ROMs you want to back up all your apps and all your user settings so you don't have to reinstall and plug in everything every single time you want to change a ROM so um, <clears throat> titanium backup allows you to do that it stores everything on a folder on your SD card so you can copy that onto your computer for backup or what have you Firefox is uh, Firefox 4 is incredible on the PC and the tablet I've been a Chrome user for a long time but with Firefox 4 I think they've really done a great job um, I can download torrents from Firefox 4 and then open it with the program ttorrent the application ttorrent on here and I can have straight up uh, magazines, movies, whatever, uh, just straight all downloaded to my tablet directly. With the expandable micro SD card with 32 gigs, I can get tons of content on here real quick. Um, the Corporation, really good documentary, is now available for free on BitTorrent, and there's tons of legal torrent sites that you can check out. Uh, Legit Torrents is one of them. Notice how Firefox, they, the tabs are there. It's really nice. You can just drag over. And then if you want to bookmark, you can go over here. And then preferences, add-ons. The add-ons are cool. Um, but yeah, so I would just download the torrent, and it automatically would open in ttorrent, which is nifty. Um, Disaster Alerts is really really cool app. shows you a live map of um, all the disasters going on around the world. So if something's near you, Volcano in San Miguel, Advisory... Chile, six, uh, 5.9 earthquake, um, etc., etc. So you can stay on top of what's going on. Um, what else? Um, Skype is great. Uh, Droid Iris is really neat for image searches. If you're doing image searches, um, so right now I have Everyday Carry set up. It's just really a nice interface. And then it'll load the high-res version um, straight off of the straight off the website. Um, let's see this one, right? And then I can go up, go to the side. Let's see, zoom out. And um, so those are all really great. Um, I think that's all all for now. Um, I covered everything. Um, I'm gonna throw up another uh, video of games because that's that there's not enough room but a preview for that is I got a ton of emulators on here. Um, Game Boy Light, Game Boy Color, SNES, um, Sega Genesis, uh, MAME arcade emulator, uh, uh, Atari, NES. So you can get basically any game you want in here. And um, from Super Nintendo to uh, to Neo Geo, like Metal Slug, Galaga. Um, Galaga is my favorite. I always have to get it on everything that I that I own. Um, also, the Tegra games are just incredible. You've seen that on uh, those on uh, other videos. Um, and all in all, this tablet really does everything uh, for me. Um, I hear there's an uh, Ubuntu Linux uh, ROM that's coming uh, coming out. It's got some bugs right now, but um, it's in development, and that would be really exciting to see because that'd be a fully featured. Um, desktop order operating system on this tablet. For now, um, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope uh, hope some of this helped. And um, you know, uh, download some of the stuff and share what works for you. See ya.